So why was this, these serious allegations against uh, Professor Dr. Gupta overlooked? Was it deliberate? Was it a miss? And what about the whole institution, the, 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 the prestige related to the Padma Shri Awards? To debate all this uh, today, I have a distinguished panel today, Sanjeev Bagai, Dr. Sanjeev Bagai, who is uh, a Padma Shri Awardee himself. He's joining us from Delhi. We also have a social activist and lawyer, Abha Singh, joining us uh, from Mumbai and from, uh, and we, uh, and now from Kolkata, in fact, we have Rajat Kanta Roy. He is the former vice chancellor of the Vishwa Bharati University. Uh, this is, uh, he, uh, remember, Professor Dutta Gupta had also, uh, he had in fact, uh, is uh, the vice chancellor of the Vishwa Bharati University. Let me first begin with uh, uh, Mr. Bagai. Sir, there is a lot of prestige. These are one of the uh, highest civilian honors in the country associated to the Padma Sri Awards. Do you think that today when there are such serious stains of sexual harassment against a man who has been now awarded the Padma Shri Award, do you see the entire prestige of the award being lowered? Uh, let me uh, begin by answering your question that uh, in terms of the matter of facts, it's one of the most coveted and the most humbling experience to receive uh, a Padma Award by, uh, by the state, by the president. Uh, uh, what I'm given to understand is that uh, there is a very fair base of a very prolonged selection yeah. in various tiers of levels before the names are then shortlisted. Yeah. It goes through various uh, various uh, checks and balances before the names are announced. Yeah. Uh, with regards uh, any diminishing of the value of the Padma Awards, that will never happen because uh, these are very few which are awarded every year and Absolutely. in each discipline there are even fewer yeah and uh, being a population of 1.2 billion plus and growing yeah uh, 110 or 120 odd get these awards every year hmm. but I may add over here a point that in every speciality on every line or every discipline be it sports art culture social uh, activity or education or medicine or any other line yeah there are just a handful of say seven or eight or nine uh, so uh, it's just a question of a few people missing out and some people getting it but the people who miss out doesn't mean they are not good so but, but, but very quickly so but very quickly number, uh, as you said it is a very prestigious honor don't you think that uh, there should be a there should have been a proper background check uh, if there are such grave allegations this of course comes as a taint on uh, the padna awards themselves i don't think there's a taint and i'm very very sure that every level of uh, caution and precaution and check and background check and every possible detail which should have been found out is found out uh, if you just go through uh, go through the remaining uh, 120 or 125 odd right uh, barring the one which you are you, which you are mentioning yeah uh, they are par excellence they are completely par excellence I'm All not right. taking any names yeah uh, but 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 there are certain people in this list which has come out today which have done phenomenal amount of work absolutely I mean, no no doubt no doubt no doubt about others absolutely no yeah. no questions on the others those who have got that uh, award let me just go across uh, to Abha Singh now